Good morning, it's 9.24 a.m. Central Daylight Time. This is Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer, bringing you the latest comet ISON images taken this morning, Saturday, October 26th. This is the Blink Comparator system running within the MacLii software that I use to uh, examine and in the end show you the pictures that I've taken. This morning I was able to take images with two different telescopes. These images here are taken by my go-to telescope for this comet it appears, uh, T4 from itelescope.net located in the New Mexico Skies Observatory Complex for itelescope.net what we're looking at is seven frames two three four five six seven I can report to you this morning that the comet is healthy very healthy in my opinion and really showing a great promise for its great uh, arrival at the end of this year. Remember that November 28th is its perihelion, which means its close approach to the sun, the closest it will get to the sun. That distance has been estimated at about 680,000 miles. If this comet makes it around the sun at that distance, the sun will surely create a wonderful uh, view of the dust and debris that this comet will expel on its passage by the sun. You can see here, at least in my opinion, that um, this is a pretty solid piece of uh, comet. You might notice this uh, here, but this back here you'll see is a star, star, stars. You always want to look at the stars. Are the stars acting like each other? Is the comet moving t toward or away from an object? This is about as close as I like to get. Um, resolution I have with T4 is good, but you start getting any closer and you're really dealing with pixelation. So those are the first few. First views for you of the comet from this morning. These images were taken starting at 5.30 a.m. I'll stop and we'll look at the uh, Fitz header and you can get a, an opportunity to catch, stop the video and see the imp information that comes with these images. Plus you get a chance to see the T11 telescope uh, image I took. Here's Comet Ison here, looking through uh, T11, a plane wave CDK 17 inch, I believe. Um, something interesting occurred with this uh, image because I opened it up and recognized immediately that the comet is not in the center of the image, which means somewhere in my um, planning 
when I generated a plan and entered in the coordinates, I must have entered in the coordinates from a half an hour or 15 minutes on the wrong side of when I actually took the picture. So it's important to make sure you pull the right coordinates and put it at with the right exposure time. But we still have it. I might have wanted to get a little bit longer tail, but we still have it here and we'll go in and take a look at it. Again, these are all raw images. First time I've seen them, first time I've worked with them is when we get to see them together in these videos. I try to get it as much as I can in. Okay, and this is uh, an auto adjust. This is the, the actual resolution, and I'm going to darken up the back. Actually, I want to get in a little closer. Because our resolution with this camera is much, much better. You can see everything, the stars in the background. If anything appears up here, center this. Now, an uh, important note, someone asked the other day, what's in the tail? Why do we see the tail? What's in the tail? The tail is dust that's being expelled from the comet's surface. Um, a n number of varied volatile gases that can be frozen inside a comet. Uh, CO2 is the most common. In June, the comet was reported to be uh, expelling 2 million pounds of uh, CO2 dust a day. By now, it must be up to three or four million pounds of CO2 dust a day, and that's what ends up being the tail. Now, for our Electric Universe uh, friends, which I am a follower of the Electric Universe, I sp speak these words uh, and observe what's happening to um, correlate the two. In my opinion, there's no reason why there can't be dust within an electric universe. It's still about the nucleus and its uh, electrical charge, one way or the other. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and kind of smudge it out, make it a smudge, see if there's anything particular to that. It really isn't. We'll auto adjust it and it'll go right back to a nice fine. Nucleus. 8.24, 8 minutes 24 seconds. This is evenly, evenly dispersed dust. Get you some. Okay, let's have a different view. This was my attention. And again, this is from T11. Let's look at the image info. Object. Telescope PL known France Walsh use the luminance filter. The site low longitude and latitude. The time and day and the coordinates. So I have to I could do a plate solve the image and see where I went wrong. I went wrong somewhere in between here in the center of the picture and here. But okay.
changing the um, filter, the visual for this image to the rainbow mode. Let me get a different look at it. Stars, dust. Okay, these images, while we're looking at them, are the latest images from this morning. Um, 5.30 a.m. This image here was actually taken at about 4.55, these images. I had to sneak in to take these. Um, and somewhere in my um, getting of the coordinates, I made a five-minute mistake. I think that's really where it comes down to. Of what the comment looked like, the image looks like oh, we had moon. They, the all my images were a little bit um, moon affected by the moon, but um, still definitely workable. The moon doesn't um, stop you from taking these images of space, and in fact, um, you can take images with the moon out and get a discount while you're taking them. Trying to get as much done in the 15 minutes that I can. Okay, well. We have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and images taken with uh, T4, and w one image here taken by T11. That's about it. The latest, the latest and greatest. Say hello to all you N new people who've come looking for Comet Ison pictures. You've come to the right place, if I don't say so myself. To all my friends, we have long lists of them. Um, hey John, hey Jess, hey Jack, hey Chuck. Hey, Pi. Hey, Suspicious Observers. Hey, Envy. Hey, Kornos. You know, the list is in the thousands. So, um, this is about it. Comet I Sun. It's good. Healthy and ready to go.
We'll see you later.